हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी क्लास स्टूडेंट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड विद द चैप्टर व्हाई डू वी फॉल इन अंडर विच वी डिस्कस्ड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द हेल्थ गिवन बाय डब्ल्यू एच ओ एज द हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबींग वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ गुड हेल्थ इन टूडेज वीडियो let us start our discussion with the distinction between being healthy and being disease free students disease literally means being not at ease or being uncomfortable or we can also define disease literally as disturbed ease when we or not in a state of ease we are being uncomfortable or our ease has been disturbed that state literally means disease now student it is possible to be in poor health without actually suffering from some specific disease as we discussed in the last video that health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being so although we not might not be suffering from any disease it means we are in a state of good physical health but still we may be in poor health why because if we are not having good mental health or social health so health has to be a complete state of all the three parameters mental physical and social health student health is considered that state of a person when all the body organs are functioning at the best level when all body organs are properly functioning and body as a whole is able to perform its full at its full biological potential when the body is able to perform all the biological activities properly that is a state of good health let us take an example if there are grandparents at our home and if they are able to go out to the market or visit neighbors on their own without the help of others it means they are in a state of good health because their body is performing to its full biological potential at that age and if they are not able to do so it means they are in a state of poor health now let us see what are the differences between being healthy and being disease free number 1 let us see the definition as we have already studied in the last video that health is a state of physical mental and social well being whereas disease free is a state when body is free from any discomfort or disease when we are free from any disease we are in a state of good physical health it means we are disease free number 2 relation with disease a healthy person is free from disease why because healthy person means good physical health mental health as well as social health so healthy person is always free from disease whereas a disease free person may or may not be healthy disease free means he is having good physical health but it does not mean that he is necessarily be in a state of good social health or mental health if so the disease free person is healthy if not the disease free person is not healthy number 3 performance healthy person is always energetic and function at its full potential disease free person may or may not be able to perform at its full potential if he or she is in a state of poor social or mental health number 4 influence healthy person may be influenced health may be influenced by person's attitude and social environment it means how is a mental health how is a social environment that is the social 
health it influences the health of a person whereas disease free person is related to individual alone because it just refers the physical health now the next topic is what are the significances of good health number 1 good health always increases the working efficiency of a person and when the working efficiency increases the person is always energetic and functions at its full potential that leads to obviously personal progress and when the person will progress it will help the community and the country to progress number 3 healthy person or good health always helps to cope up with any type of social and mental pressures number 4 it good health gives satisfaction of leading a purposeful life because there is a harmony between expectations and achievements number 5 it enhances the power of thinking always towards the right direction towards right reasoning right attitudes and taking criticism in a right direction and number 6 good health makes our life joyful students the assignment of the topic that we have discussed today is on the school website answer those questions in your biology notebook and in the next video we shall be discussing personal health and community health thank you very much